Let me just quickly give you overview of pressure vessel analysis. This picture over here shows a typical cylindrical pressure vessel which contains a high pressure gas or liquid inside this. Whenever we do pressure vessel analysis, we are typically interested in three types of stresses which are acting on a pressure vessel. So if you take a vertical section like this, you will find a stress along axial direction which is known as axial stress or longitudinal stress. Then if you take a vertical section something like this, then you will find the stress which is along circumferential direction which is also known as hoop stress. And finally if you see the thickness of pressure vessel, you will find stress acting along radial direction. So then depending upon the direction of weld, we will decide which stress is a critical stress. As an example for weld like this, the axial stress will be critical stress. But if weld is something like this, then hoop stress will be critical stress. And broadly we categorize pressure vessels into these two categories. One is thin pressure vessel where the thickness of this pressure vessel is less than diameter of pressure vessel by 20. And another category is thin pressure vessels where the thickness is greater than diameter by 20. The reason to divide pressure vessels into these two categories is when the thickness of cylinder is very thin compared to diameter, we don't observe any radial stress. So radial stress is zero and hoop stress and axial stress is constant over the thickness. And those can be found out by these two formulas, which are very simple formulas. But for thick pressure vessel, the radial stress will not be zero. And also this hoop stress and radial stress, they will not be constant over thickness. As you can see over here, the hoop stress changes as you go along the thickness of cylinder. At the innermost point, hoop stress is maximum. And at the outermost point, it is minimum. Similarly for radial stress, the radial stress is maximum at innermost point and it becomes zero at outermost point. And you can see it is in negative direction, which means it is compressive in nature. And axial stress is constant throughout the thickness. And I'm not sure if you can see over here, but this is not a linear relation as well. So if you try to find formulas for hoop stress, axial stress and radial stress for thick pressure vessel, you can of course get an analytical solution, but that will not be this simple. Those formulas are much complicated. That's why I'm not including them over here. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.